To prune or not to prune? That's the question. Not gonna lie, this is a bit of a tricky one. Honestly, pruning peppers can go either way in terms of the benefit they provide. And it's not the visceral nature of the pruning itself that has anything to do with it. No, the answer to pepper pruning and whether or not to do it is much more nuanced than that. I've been growing peppers of all kinds for 15 years now, and I still debate every spring whether or not I should prune. So let's once and for all take a deep dive into the world of pepper pruning and find out. Today we're going to cover two things. One, how and when do you actually prune your pepper plants? And two, setting up an experiment where we can reliably test the results of pruned specimens versus ones that we left alone. But before we get there, let's just take a quick moment to discuss the theory behind why you should prune your pepper plants and what does it actually do for us. While pruning peppers may seem drastic at first glance, the theory behind clipping off the top apical leaders is actually quite sound. Whenever a plant, like this pepper here, loses its leading shoot, two things happen. The inhibiting growth hormones that the leading shoot produces disappear. That apical meristem sends those hormones down the plant stem to prevent new leading shoots from forming. This is what gives all plants their form and their structure. When those inhibiting hormones disappear, new leaders form from the top shoots, often multiple at a time. The second thing that happens is the plant tends to branch out more at the nodes below that, creating a much bushier plant. Another familiar plant that does this is basil. It's not a theory, it really does happen. And for sure, peppers are one of the plants that do this well. So the idea is that with more leading shoots and more subsequent side shoots, the plants will have incrementally more opportunities to send out flower buds and thus more fruit. I don't think that anybody can debate this. Even the anti-pepper pruners know that this is science and this is fact. But this is where fact ends and the theory starts. Will this actually produce more peppers per plant? Well, I aim to find out. Let's go through the pruning tutorial so that you can follow along at home if you're gonna be pruning your peppers. Pruning peppers is quite easy. So easy, in fact, that it only requires one cut. That's it. The trick for pruning comes in the timing. This is best done when the plants themselves have only three to four leaf nodes total. You don't want to be doing this to mature plants. In fact, right now when you're planting your young pepper plants out into your garden is the perfect time to do it. So. With your young pepper plant, count out the first two leaf nodes and cut right above the second one. It's dramatic, I know, shockingly so, even for experienced growers. But this is how it's done. Check this out. I have a couple that I did just eight days ago. Let's see how they're progressing. Crazy. Look at the new growth already. Clearly it works in forcing the plants to branch out. And that's where the theory of more branching, creating more flower buds, creating more fruit, is going to be tested. All right, time to experiment. The only problem is, I've been down this road before. I tried this sort of A-B comparison experiment last year with no conclusions and even less peppers. This time though, we're up in the game. I made the mistake of only doing six plants last year, all in individual pots, all siloed off from each other. Two of the plants were taken down by aphids, and there were no appreciable differences in production with the remaining four plants. The issue was, the experiment was half-hearted. I was only willing to dedicate six plants to the endeavor, so the sample size just wasn't big enough. This year, we're gonna change it up. I have four eight-foot beds that I've planted my California Wonder Sweet Bells into. Eight plants per bed, 32 plants total. 
My entire production of this one variety of pepper is gonna be dedicated to this experiment. All 32 of these California Wonder Peppers are gonna be dedicated to finding out whether or not pruning your peppers at the beginning of the season has any effect on production. To do this, I'm gonna go ahead and prune every second plant in this bed. I'm gonna go ahead and do that now and get the experiment started. It seems drastic. And if you're at all worried about pruning your peppers, don't. You don't have to. They'll grow just fine without. Let me do the experimenting, and if it works out, hey, we can both prune together next season. Remember, we're not testing whether or not the peppers can grow more leaves and more branches and more buds. We know that they're going to do this. What I'm testing for is whether or not the peppers without pruning are already reaching their max production. There's only so much fruit that a plant can support, and I want to find out if these peppers can get there without the pruning. One last thing when you're pruning though, many people also take off the longer lower leaves as well. I did this on a few plants to see if it also plays any part, but your mileage may vary. Okay, we're set. This many plants, all growing in identical conditions, should really give us insight into any potential pruning benefits. In my climate, harvest time is July and August, so make sure to check back then as we uncover the results. In the meantime though, if you have any pepper growing tips that you'd love to share with the community, make sure to leave it in the comments down below. Also, if any of you are on Facebook, head on over and join our gardening group called Growing Better. The group has grown phenomenally fast, yet it will never lose its sense of community or its welcoming feel. If you're passionate about growing epic organic fruits, herbs, and veggies for you and your family, the Growing Better group is a great place to hang out, share, learn, and grow. Hey, thanks for watching, guys. If you're getting value in this and the other series that I'm doing on YouTube, hit those like, share, and subscribe buttons if you'd be so kind, and I'll see you in the next video.